Hello everybody and welcome to a Digimon review. Now, I haven't done any of these before but uh, Digimon seems to be becoming more and more popular on children's television and Sammy absolutely loves it. Um, this is one of the uh, most recent series of toys from uh, Bandai. It's the Digimon Fusions uh, series. Uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise what it's about. Basically, you can buy multiple figures, um, you collect them, you fuse them, and you battle them. This one is Greymon. Let's take a look at the box. On the front here, you've got a really nice blister pack. You can see clearly in there, and you can see that there is some assembly required, just connecting the said parts. You also get your Greymon Digimon card, which you can put in your Digifuser. If you come round the back here, you've got uh, Greymon, and you can add him with uh, male uh, Bergamon, and they become metal Greymon. And you've also got these mini fuses as well um, to make uh, Sheltmon times four. Uh, there's your cards, there's the collectible, playable, touch device enabled, so you can basically scan them on to your pad or phone or digital device. <laughs> Anywho, let's. Uh, that's pretty much all the packaging is, and you've got a nice kind of digital image there of uh, Greymon. Yeah, let's get him out of the pack. Out of the pack, this is what we've got. We've got a uh, rather large instruction manual, considering it's a very, very, very small toy. Uh, basically, just telling you how to combine them into the uh, combined mode when you get more than one. Um, and yeah, basically how you can unplug the bits and um, pop them in with different ball joints. Very, very, very straightforward. It's uh, aimed at four plus, so it's literally uh, unplug and plug in. So let's uh, let's have a little play. Straight out of the box, he comes with his leg uh, detached. So you can see there, you just got an open uh, ball socket. Just put the ball in and that clicks in nice and firmly. You can then come around and do the same thing with the tail. Plug that in, and there we go. It's literally as simple as that. You can unplug and plug these in really easily, um, but they're not loose enough to uh, kind of just flop around. You've got uh, you've got two separate ports. You have got two separate ports on these legs here, so you could even replace uh, even like the lower legs. Just pop them off and put different lower legs on, put different thighs on, different head on different tail, different arms, uh, so these are quite quite versatile. Let's look at the articulation you've got with these guys. Uh, you've got jaw motion, hindered slightly coming back by the neck there, so it does hit slightly. You've got a 360 on the head, up and really nice down movement there. You've got a ball joint on the shoulder, uh, so it does, it is hindered by the leg, it's not gonna, if you try and bend it around the leg, it's just gonna pop that out of the socket. You've got a fairly good reach forward on those. On the legs, you can do a complete 360. Uh, it does splay, sort of, it's, you kind of limited, uh, due to the way that this underbody here is formed. You can't really push these legs out too far. But then why would you want to? You've got a complete 360 on these lower sections and really kind of good range of movement on these ones. Nothing seems to hinder them. So you can get them in some really, really great charging poses. And with the tail, again, you've got 360 degrees there. Fairly good down movement and a fairly nice up movement there. Just taking a look at the detailing on this guy, I'm really, really impressed. For such a low budget toy, uh, the paint apps are really good. Uh, you can see that they've coloured the white teeth on the inside here, the grey armour, there doesn't seem to be any paint bleeding at all. Uh, the eyes are done really, really, really well. It's just, okay, it's not, Amazing, they haven't gone all out and you know, kind of painted it extravagantly. But what they have done, they've kept in the lines, it's neat, it's tidy, you know, it's just just nice, really pleasing to the eye. 
really love this purple. His horn is somewhat uh, flexible so that uh, children don't stab their eyes out. <laughs> these are, uh, does the jaw section, ah, I was hoping these kind of, again, these are this flexible, pliable kind of plastic. I remember Digimon from when I was a kid. Um, they were a little bit flimsy at the time and I used to lose the pieces all the time. Um, I think kind of Bandai have aimed these at a different market audience. I believe uh, when I was collecting the Digimon figures, they were aimed about eight to nine years. Um, I think they've, they've kept the same level of detailing, um, but they've just aimed at a younger audience and they've, been, they've made them a lot, lot more robust um, and this is going to last. Uh, okay, yes, you can pull the parts off. Um, that's what they're designed to do. Um, and yes, there's the possibility of losing these parts, but nothing's too small. Um, there are no small choking hazards, and it's just a good, all-round, rough-and-tough toy. Uh, I'm actually really impressed, Bandai. Well done. I'm off to my uh, local Toys R Us and see if they've got any more of these, these guys in stock. And I'm going to see if I can digifuse some uh, awesomeness. So until next time, guys, for myself and Greymon, thanks for watching.